Hello everybody and welcome back to Stasia Expert Mode. In this episode, we upgrade our Blood Altar to Tier 5 and we automate the collection of Life Essence. We don't have to sacrifice our own blood anymore. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are actually going to do some blood magic. Um, yeah, I was going to do Flux Networks and a bit of Mystic Agriculture today, but I had a look at the recipes that I'm going to need for Flux Networks and for Mystic Agriculture, and yeah, they are way out of reach for me to even try and do right now. One, I can make the Quantum Entangulator, uh, Entangler Porter, that's no problem, but it's crushing it down inside the Pulverizer is the problem. The Pulverizer is going to require... A bit of a complex recipe, and I need to use mechanical crafters, 17 of them, from Create. And that doesn't mean I have to go through this whole process of sanding down rose quartz and all that, but we'll go through that next time. Um, I need to make ethereal slates, which, which are tier 5 blood altar recipes. My altar is tier 4. So we're going to be upgrading our blood altar to tier 5 and automating the life essence to be filled into this altar. Meaning we could probably get rid of a lot of these runes of sacrifice and fill up with more runes of capacities. Um, because I didn't actually know there was a guide in this. I thought this was actually a separate mod back when I first messed up Blood Magic back in 1.12. I thought this was a different mod that just added a guidebook. But this is actually the Sanguine Sanctum, or Scientium. Uh, and this gives us the full guide on how to do Blood Magic. And in here, it tells you everything you need to know. And here's all the things we can do. Uh, but we're going to be mainly looking at is the rituals and the rituals we're going to want to use is the well of where is it well of sacrifice um is this all okay it's alphabetical so well of suffering um use a divine a ritual diviner dusk for easier construction so it'll auto craft everything as long as you have enough of these runes total runes we just need to have ourselves 36 runes and one master rune and I'll show you how to set this up now in a minute. But what it does is it attacks mobs within its range zone, putting LP into the nearby blood altar. Uh, and eventually will kill the mobs. So uh, we'll have to set up one of our spawners. So I know I have plenty of spawners in a cardboard box. So we'll get one of those, put a zombie in it, upgrade the thing, shrink down the range. So it only fits in like a tiny box. And yeah, we'll work from there. And it will fill it up and it says put a blood orb in the altar because the thing actually does use blood per damage. I don't know if it actually says here. Okay, yeah. Uses two life points per thing. And it requires 40,000 LP to activate. So um, there's one way, there's two ways you can see your blood level or your LP in your life network. Is if you get yourself out an orb, uh, you can just put it inside the blood altar and you hold shift. It'll show you how much you have. Right now we have 10,000 as you know, we have 100,000 inside our life network out of what looks like a million. So I can go ahead and put this in there and just let it fill up. And as the thing just keeps damaging, it will just keep filling this orb, filling the thing, and we're good. The other way is you can use your, make yourself a um, sigil of seeing, and that will also uh, show you what your life, uh, life network is in the chat. So... Uh, we need to set that up now. So we need to upgrade our altar to tier 5. Now, the best way to do that is... Oh. Oh, God. Is our f is inventory full down here? Oh, God, it is. Uh. Really didn't think about that. Um. That's a bit of an issue. Uh, I might need to empty out a ton of these slime balls... And start setting up more drawers. I think you also told me before. Maybe I should get myself a new dank. And set up a dank uh, pedestal or something like that. So if I make myself a dank. Another dank here. Uh, just upgrade it all the way to the max. Okay. I don't have any more diamonds to be able to upgrade this thing past emerald. But if I make myself a dock now. I think this is correct. I'm not entirely sure. What's this? Black concrete. Oh, I need to make myself blank, black concrete now. I should be able to do that, no problem. And now I just do this, and it makes me set myself a dock. And I'm not entirely sure if this is correct, but I think I might be able to just put the dock right there, put the dank in there, open it, and then I can just start storing stuff in there. So let's say I get myself a slime ball, the other slime ball, a carrot, 
all the things we have so much of, especially the string, the seeds, um, the coal, all of those things. And if we put them all in here, I think then if we just grab ourselves an exporter and then get some cable, I might be able to run this around in the back here. So say if I just come across here, access this, put the export there, grab the cable, come across down and to here. And now I just take out all those things I just had a second ago. Okay, is this everything I had? I think so. Um, yeah, okay, so there probably isn't enough storage in here. But if I add all these things in, there we go. This will start filling this guy up with that. And hopefully, can I use any time in a bottle to speed this guy up? Will this fill it up quicker? Doesn't look like it. Can I speed this up by any way, any chance? That's simple storage networks. There is stack upgrades and speed upgrades. Okay, so let me make a few of them. Don't know, I can't remember exactly how many it needs, but let's just add in four speed upgrades. Oh yeah, look how fast that's going now. So let me just dump all this in here. And this will just kind of start exporting everything out of this chest, more or less into the other thing, into that tank. And that should store it and it should void everything else. So you can see it's starting to like fill up now with all the excess stuff, but hopefully this now will just store everything in there. And it's a way more storage in one single block than having to use a uh, drawer. Uh, I don't know if it does it void stuff when it gets to a certain, when it's full enough. I actually don't know. But anyway, I'm going to help it along just by start emptying out everything in here because it looks like it's going to take a lot longer than that. And I'm going to start adding more things onto it. Mainly stuff I'm not going to be accessing as often. Uh, probably more like ender pearls, all the seeds, the blaze rods. The blaze rods are technically going in here. So I don't know why this thing is stopped filling. It, it has a void upgrade, so it should be getting more in it. Not stocking it up in here. Um, yeah, I don't know why there's so many of these in here. There shouldn't be. But anyway, I'm going to start emptying out this chest and then we'll get back to doing blood magic. Okay, I think I have may have emptied out about half of my inventory here. So, I've got a lot of storage now. I pretty much dumped out all the slime, all the strength, everything. Um, so, all the armor, bows, tools, everything is gone. So, that's good. So, now we can get back to doing our blood magic, setting up this well of suffering. So, what we need to do to upgrade this thing to tier 5 at least first, is we're going to have to make ourselves four beacons. Now... Of course, since we had our wither farm going, oh, this feels so much quicker now. The crafting is not that slow anymore because we don't have that many items in anything anymore. But I do have about 640 nether stars, so we've got a lot of stuff going. And so let me get myself out some. You know what? We have so much emerald. I'm going to make blocks of emeralds for the corners. You don't actually have to have blocks here, but I think it just feels a bit better if you do have some blocks. Uh, so just grab a whole stack of emeralds. And I'm just going to fill in the corners like this. And then we can put our beacon on the corner like that. And that will activate the beacon. So it will shoot off into the sky. I don't think it's going to activate here because uh, there's a few. Actually, it might if I break those leaves. I might be able to get it to work. Let me see. So this is in direct view of the... Oh, no, it goes through the leaves. All right, perfect. Uh, I'm going to take off these ear defenders. Oh, that's my elytra. Where's my ear defenders? There they are. Uh, I'm not anywhere near my diesel generator anymore, so we don't have to worry about being uh, deafened by the sound. All right, so one more set of um, emerald blocks, and then we can put down our beacon. So, let's see. Is this going to become a tier 5? Is tier 4? And... Tier 5? Huh. That didn't work. Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to fill all these in blank runes. My mistake. And then the last one's here. Does it become a tier 5? Tier 5! And... Wait, why did it change to 103 buckets? Huh? Why is it saying B now? Unless it went up because I have more of those uh, runes right there and the acceleration ones. Uh, I might need to make myself a sigil of seeing. So, if we go to add blood magic, uh, let's have a look here. We want to make ourselves this seer's sigil. This requires this. So, I need a deviation sigil, which is going to require arcane ashes, redstone, and a blank slate. So, grab that and grab some redstone. 
Uh, let's put this down on the ground right here. I think you right click with redstone and then you right click with the blank slate. This should make us a division sigil and then we have to make ourselves the other part. So let's see, C. Seer sigil, let's bookmark that. We're going to need ourselves a reinforced slate, so we'll make that now. We're going to need glowstone and two glass. Okay, so glowstone. So there's one glowstone and um, we need two pieces of glass. We come over here and we get out my orb. There we go. I think I do it in here. So this in there with the two of these. Uh, with a division sigil, that in there, this should make our thing. And then I need to upgrade this slate, one slate up to the next tier. Yeah, this looks like it's holding way more buckets than before. I think it is holding, it's holding over 103 buckets. Uh, does that mean it has over 100,000 essence in there? Usually it only has seven. I think that is the case now. Jesus, it really went up that much by going to tier 5? I didn't think it would, like, increase that much. But anyway, put this on the ground, right-click that, right-click it with the reinforced slate. And it is reinforced, right? Yes, okay, so this make should make us a Seer's Sigil. And this will allow us to see our life network and everything, so right-click it. Uh, I think it should right-click. Oh no, you just hover over on the top left. Uh, so on the top left it says there it's a tier 5. Okay, yeah, you can see that. It has 103 buckets worth, or 100,000 millibuckets, and we only have 20. We just only have 75, or 78 of it. So we have a lot of it in there now. Uh, too bad it doesn't actually show us our life network. I, I thought it did. Um, but usually you right-click and it shows it in the chat, but well, whatever. So now we can set up the next part. So if we go to Apple Up Magic again, we want to set up automation of life essence now. So up here we have this ritual stone. I think in the book it said we need about 36 or 38 of it, and we're going to need our master ritual stone. The ritual stone is a bunch of reinforced slates around that. So, uh, how many was this going to make us? This is going to make us four sets of it. Um, okay, I'm just going to have to make a lot more of that. I'm meaning I'm going to have to wait, make way more white concrete. Um, can, is there a way to automate white concrete? Because I don't want to have to go put it into the ground and redo it, like break it. So using this, I can use it inside a solidification chamber with water. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Let me make one of these quickly. So there's a solidification chamber. Let's head down to our mechanism area, because that's where I have some sink set up. So we come in here. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here for now and just grab myself a pipe. Put a pipe there. That should start filling up with water. Correct? Yes. Uh, now what we have to do is get some cable and plug it in underneath. There we go. Now it's plugged in. So all I have to do now is just get some concrete. Okay, I'm not going to waste much more time just sitting there waiting for all of it to be converted into regular solid concrete. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it bit by bit here. And I've got, how many stacks have I got? I've got about four stacks of it. So should have a good for a while. And I am preparing this for next episode when we start Botania uh, again. So we can start making our Elven Gateway. So I'm just getting these mana pools filled up for all the trading we're going to be doing. And I just love how beautiful this looks. All the mana pools I have everywhere just full, so I don't have to worry about needing mana. Ah, oh, it's great. All right, I'm about to make a full stack of these guys. Now, I'm going to split this down into 16, because I know I definitely do not have, have enough blood for that. I actually almost do. Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, I went ahead and made a, few, a stack of the living rock. Probably just going to be back and forth between making more or not, but whatever. Um, I looked at the book there, and it said I needed 36 of those ruins. So, put down back over here. And 36 of those things. And yeah, I did give, my, give myself speed boost uh, using these beacons. Um, but yeah, so this thing is almost done. Does it actually have enough? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. So, what we're going to do is, if we have a look here at the ritual stone, we need obsidian. So, let's grab ourselves out all the ingredients we need now, once this thing is done to 16. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the obsidian. And put that in the corners. And now just get our orb. Put that in the middle. It's over in this table. So orb. Put that in the center here. And we just give this thing a little bit of a speed boost. It's almost finished though. So we should be okay. And soon it'll be done. Okay, any second now. There we go. So now we can just put these around here. Make all the ritual stones. Damn, it only made 20 of them. Uh, so 16 makes 20. 
I need like another. Okay, I'm gonna have to make like another 16 of these things. So the 16 reinforced. Do that again. There we go. 36 ritual stone. Uh, ooh, I'm actually gonna have to make another four of that. So one. Uh, oh god, no, don't. Okay. Made it imbued. Uh, I'm gonna have to make another four of these guys because I forgot I need to actually make the master one. Um. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, I need to make another four. Four of these. Uh, let's fill it up with blood quickly again, just a small bit. Should be enough. Put these four in here. Uh, it's only 8,000. I put 10,000 in there. Okay, that's good. Speed this up. I just don't want to wait for it, so just do that. There we go. Four ritual stone. And I think I just do that again. It makes a master one. And there we go. So now we have to go through the whole process of making ourselves the deviation uh, rod. So go to Apple Blood Magic and let's bind it. So Ritual Diviner and a Ritual Diviner Dusk. So we need to make the first one first. So we have to go through the thing here and make all these different things. So Inscription. Uh, inscription, we need Earth, Tool, Water, Air. That's going to be all these different things. So we need an Obsidian. We're going to need ourselves a Lapis. We're going to need ourselves a Gas here and a Magma Cream. So let's get out all those ingredients and make all those things now. Alright, let's fill this thing up with a lot of blood. There we go. And now let's make each one of these things. So you're only going to require a thousand. So let's actually speed the process up here as well. So there's one. And there's the other. There's this one. And then the last one is going to be the obsidian. So there's all our three pieces now to make our divining rod. I keep calling it divining rod, but it's a ritual diviner. So the first one is going to be made like this. So do I have everything? I should have everything for that. So... Click this. There's our rod. Now the next one's going to require the inscription tool dusk, which is coal. I'm going to need two blocks of coal. So let's do that one now as well. So this in here, how much blood is that going to need? Ah, it's going quite quick. So that's good. Now it requires two demonic slates. I think I have two demonic slates. Okay, nice. Okay, so all I have to do now is I'm going to build up a couple of blocks. Uh, can I open this? All right, nice. I'm going to build up about three blocks and I'm going to put the master ritual stone right here. Now, I'm going to shift right click and you can scroll between all the different rituals. We're going to go until we find Well of Suffering and you can see it highlights all the spots for you. And if you have all of the enough of these ritual stones in your inventory, it, if you just hold right click on it, it will auto build. I'm just going to spam right click and there we go. It is built. It has used all of them. But there's one other thing we need to do first now. We need to make ourselves a weak sh uh, uh, blood shard, a weak activation crystal. That's going to require a lava crystal. That's actually not too difficult. I should be able to make that no problem. So, lava crystal, do this. Um, all I need is my orb. The orb in the center, grab two buckets. I need to go get more two buckets of lava. And yeah, I can go down to my mine and get that. Okay, so I don't know what kind of uh, spawner th these ones are going to be, so... No, don't pick it up. Eh, spider spawner, oh, that'll do. Uh, I'm going to make myself a redstone link. And I'm going to turn this one on and off now as well. I just want to give it redstone commands. So, repeater. Or it's a comparator, isn't it? Comparator. Make one of those quickly. So, stop it from working. I'm going to add the link on the back. And then right down here... Oh yeah, that zombie's beneath me. I'm just going to put it like right here and then I'm going to get myself, um, no, I'm just going to put the blood orb in it. That's probably a good uh, picture. It doesn't actually consume it. It just uses it as a picture. Teleport all the way back up here. Uh, oh yeah, I accidentally killed myself when using blood. I wasn't paying attention. Remove that. Um, now I can go to the back here, set scout to receiving, put this right in here and now it's ready to go. So all I have to do now is finish building up the walls. Uh, this should be tall enough. Right. So now what I want to do is if I get myself some quartz, and I think I hold it in my offhand, I can't really remember, but if we have a look at spawner, um, it says here to decrease the spawn area, so you use a blaze rod, but it says here certain things, if you change it, um, certain items can invert this behavior called the modifier to change its stats. So if I get a blaze rod, and I think I hold this in my offhand, put this in here, and I right click this, it will shrink the area. And I think it increases by one block. So if I just go one, two, it should only spawn out to as far as this block. And it should keep everything nice and tight inside this box. 
So now I'm just going to change this and fill in the rest of the roof. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone now. Let's get out a bit. Okay, it's bright in here because I have night vision, but that's fine. So all I have to do now is just go in here, grab myself my zombie egg. Right click that there. This should turn into zombies. Let's actually teleport out. Uh, grab ourselves a lever. Turn this thing on. Zombies will start spawning in here slowly. Uh, I should probably add on some uh, speed upgrades onto it. I don't want this thing to go too fast. I'm only going to add a little bit on. Grab some eyes. Um, I don't need this thing incredibly fast. So I think it was gas tears then to increase the nearby max entities. There we go. And that should be good enough now. So let's teleport out, turn it on and see how it goes. Okay, that looks like a good rate of spawning. So now all we have to do is hold this. Um, turn down our sounds because that's going to be quite loud and annoying. But all you have to do is just right click this or shift right click. A rush of energy flows through the ritual. There we go. The so mobs are getting damaged and you can see the blood is slowly going up. It says 22. Let me get my seer sigil. So uh, seer sigil hover over there in the top left. You can see we're getting about a thousand blood per activation. And I think it is draining um, blood out of this guy as well. So if we just put this in here. Oh yeah, when mobs die, they also do um, fill up, uh, dropped all our mobs drops then as well. So give me up top again. And I'm just going to grab myself an ender chest. And I'm just going to grab myself a hopper. Vacuum hopper. Put the ender chest right here. Vacuum hopper on top. No, on top I said. Vacuum hopper on top. Items down and show the area and we're going to offset it down the way and yeah, I won't go any further than that, but it's now picking up everything including experience. I don't really care about the experience. Now I just want to get myself a demagnetizer because I want to disable the magnetization in this area because I don't want to be picking up all the bloody mob drops. So I'm just going to put the demagnetizer right there, set the max range and it's going to filter. It's going to whitelist or blacklist everything. That means it's not going to pick up anything. So if I turn on my magnet, it shouldn't pick up the zombie flesh when they die. And this thing is just going to infinitely fill with blood, power this thing, and we're always going to have blood whenever we need. So all we have to do then is just add as much of these capacity runes on as we can. Each more of these sacrifice runes will increase the amount of blood that each one of these give. Um, so yeah, I think we're actually at a point now where we're automating all of our life essence now. And I think it's amazing. We're making more than this thing is filling. So, yeah, this is great. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye.